Welcome! Your War Chief is back with another epic video! Hi, my name's PBE, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me Peeps. And as the title suggests, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're going to look at the things I like and dislike as a WoW player walking into this game. Now keep in mind, this is not apples to apples. I am not reviewing it. I am not comparing it to World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is my favorite game without a shadow of a doubt. I love it. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy something on the side. That sounded bad. Don't do that. No. So what could I possibly like about my favorite games competition? Stick around, we're gonna jump into it. Right now. Let's start out with the dislikes, the negatives. So the first thing I dislike is account and payment. We're spoiled. Let's start there, we're spoiled. We have an easy, well set up system with battle.net. There are days where we could say some words about it, it's no comparison to Mog Station. None. Get Final Fantasy XIV, you need two accounts. You need a Square Enix account, and then you need a Mog Station account. It's better. They don't talk to each other. So if you purchase the game on the Square Enix account, you have to grab the key and bring it to Mog Station. Like, as if you bought a disc. It's archaic. It is confusing and it took me a solid 20 minutes to download the trial of this game. Even longer to actually purchase it. You would think that that's what you would want to be the easiest thing you do. Buy my game. No, I'm not gonna lie. I got some help in the end. I've got some guildmates that have played a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. They helped me get through it. But you shouldn't need that. So players that never make it past those steps, I understand. Is it worth it to go past those steps? Absolutely, it's a lovely game. But there are some big steps right out the gate. Speaking of right out the gate, there is a steep learning curve. It was explained to me that this is a Japanese style RPG. I mean, it's Final Fantasy, what do you expect? It's meant in the sense that it takes a while to be in tutorial mode before you're out adventuring and doing everything you should be. I mean, Warcraft has its own tutorials. It lasts, what, five, 10 levels? There are hundreds of symbols. There are, the map system is difficult. And navigating cities, if you think Stormwind is bad, well, duh. Within the first 10 levels, you're going at different tiers of the city. There's no indication on how to get there, where to get there, where's your quest. It takes some time, and I admit that. Is it time well spent? It is. So I am telling you as a player, yes, you'll get mad. Yes, you may say some bad words. It's worth it. Keep going. Let's get into the stuff we like, though. Audiovisual. This is a Square Enix game. That means two things that you can almost guarantee no matter what Square Enix game you play. The visuals will be breathtaking. They will be stunning. And the audio will take you away. The music is familiar for your level ups. You, you know the one I'm talking about. -na 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 -na. Y you know that one. But I mean, every little zone and area has its own music and it is captivating. It's interesting. I don't play this game with music on. I don't need to. It's beautiful. And everything is gorgeous. In cities, it looks like cities. It looks grandiose. It's detailed. It's insane. Character customizations are nuts. Absolutely nuts. And your customizations don't impact the game. So when you turn like this with your hairstyle, your hairstyle moves with you. I know, right? When you put a piece of gear on, if it covers your hair, it covers your hair. Not partial, fully. Cutscenes have all of your right gear in it. It's well done. There's no blockiness to it. This is Square Enix game through and through, and it is fucking beautiful. That's it. It is fucking beautiful. Absolutely. Another thing I really like is the one character to rule them all. You only need one. How many characters do you have on Warcraft? How many do you need on Final Fantasy XIV? One. You need one. 
your character can play every single class. You can play every single class. Professions, you can do every single profession. The system here is more built on a gear system, and the idea is, is if players put the work in to earn every single class, why can't they have it? This is an RPG. You are the character. That's the idea, right? Now I understand having different characters for a role play and stuff like that, but man, what a change. Can you imagine if Warcraft opened that up? Dude, I would only have one. I am great only having one. I only have others to try out new classes. Honestly, this part is perfection. Another thing that you get caught up in pretty quick is the storytelling. I know, right? I said storytelling. From the small little quest to the main storyline, you get caught up in it pretty quick. You care about the characters pretty quick. And the funny part is that I'm only at level 30 and my guildmates are telling me that the game is shit before level 50-ish. So I am lost in this storyline at level 30 when people are telling me, no, 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 it's shit. You wait, you wait, girl. I'm lost. I love it. I love it. I love absolutely all about it. The nuances, the strong characters. It gets better. The dungeons have storylines in the dungeons. They're genius. Dungeons are fun again. Some of them have their own storyline. Some of them only take one quest to figure out what the hell's going on in them and then you get into it. Insane. I did my first I don't remember what it's called. It's where you kill this like one boss. And I killed Ifrit, which is badass, but that's a whole other story. I felt like a god killing him. It's not that it's difficult, because you could do these things on higher difficulties, but the story is so well written that you walk out feeling like you just bested a god and that you are truly a hero amongst heroes. It is written beautifully, but then again, most Square Enix games are. This is something that's very well known for them, and this is no exception. WoW versus FF14. It is so refreshing to try something different, specifically while we're dealing with the downtime between expansions. I am perfectly enjoying both, and I want to drive that point home. Yes, there are things that WoW could absolutely learn from Final Fantasy XIV. Absolutely. But I don't dislike one game or the other because of their flaws. I re I'm really enjoying that sense of variety, that sense of adventure. It's like picking Xbox One versus PS4. I'm of the mindset, you play the games you want. Whether that console is green or blue, play the games you want. You're a gamer. Some people disagree with me, and that's okay, but I will be gaming. So honestly, if you haven't played Final Fantasy XIV, especially in this downtime, try it. It's free to level 35, which is enough to really get your feet wet and enjoy it. And even if you only play it to level 35, it's a nice little distraction. You'll get quite a few hours out of just that. It's also a really cool way to see different points of view and see like, oh, I wish they had that in Warcraft or you know what? I really like Warcraft for that. And it, it's nice to compare the two in a friendly way. All right. What do you think of Final Fantasy 14? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, I'm just kidding. Be honest with me, it's what I appreciate the most. And you can watch my adventures on both Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV on Twitch. I'm live Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern. And sometimes I sneak some streams in between because, yes, I like to game. If you like Warcraft, you like nerdy stuff, you like me, you never know, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications for all my upcoming videos. And if you made it this far, I'm going to leave my last video up here somewhere. It's a cute little spooky, ooky review of Azuna, full of ghost stories and well, you know how I feel about ghost stories. Check that out. All right. Well, I love you all very much, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye! Truly a great game. Guys, it is worth it. Yes, you can have your cake and eat it too. Let them eat cake.